Hello, welcome back. This is part two of maintaining the Bissell vacuum cleaner, model A2H1. We've got all kinds of new stuff for, to, for you to show, and uh, let's get started. Continuing on with a brush, new brush from Amazon, about 14, 15 bucks. And this was June, 2021. This is the belt end, as you can see, the housing for it is much larger. And I forgot to mention, those are sealed ball bearings behind this plastic uh, little holder device. This is the opposite end, just a little smaller. This is an example of the brush height. This is the old one. That's good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and reuse this one. And now we're getting there. Go ahead and lean it back. We're going to go ahead and separate this top part from this piece here. There's four screws, two here, and you got two on the other side. Remove those and start unscrewing these. Why don't you get them all unscrewed? Take off these end caps here, remove those, and slide the unit out. Just as easy as that. Off, sometimes referred to as pillow blocks. Take that one off. Take the one on the other side off. Stand it upright. When you're ready, go ahead and lift it up from the non-drive side like this. And it'll come out just like that. the time you can go ahead and check the lower unit here uh, make sure everything is nice and clear clean of course I've cleaned it already and uh, one way you can see if it's clear drop a penny down it like that comes out you're good to go this is probably the hardest part of this whole overhaul was taking this top part out and what you want to do is get that big flat tip screwdriver and gently pry just up enough and it'll slide down slide back and then you can remove it so i've already removed it it's too hard to duplicate sorry you know in order to remove the motor cover there's a extended piece from the motor cover underneath the wireway here and uh so remove these four screws, one here, there, you have here, and there. Also, these three tabs here, here, and here, and slide your a small screwdriver up inside here. As soon as you see the gap, you can spread it and go from uh, this one and that one and that one. So as soon as you see those gaps, you can go ahead and remove it. Just put your screwdriver in there and pry it off. Come right off. Remove the five Phillips head screws, gently lift off the cover as there is still the wiring attached to the light bulb connection. Well, this is the heart of the beast. This is your intake and the air actually, this vacuum motor gets pushed through the motor to cool it. Out of the motor, it goes up through here and it goes out your HEPA filter. That uh, one-way check, sometimes when you hear a strange noise, unusual noise, like howling or whistle, could be caused by this check valve. We took this out before. Show it to you again. There's a check, operates one way. It's uh, conical, so if you push down on there, and you'll, it'll rise up. Now, I took this thing out. It was dirty. It was filthy. And uh, it had been relieving. And 
uh, apparently up, up here where your other filter was, was clogged and was actually lift up. And that's probably where that noise was coming from. As I was showing you before, this thing starts lifting. There's a small like weep hole in here on the back side. And as you can see, my fingers right through there, and uh, it's right behind the hose. And ev evidently, when you take that hose off and you find debris here, it's clogged. So to avoid overheating, make sure there's no clogs in the lines, all lines, all the filters. Check your filters periodically, especially in dirty, dusty conditions or if you put new carpeting in and whatnot, check the filters often and regularly, and especially the uh, after filter here, after the motor, the HEPA filter, and you'll avoid clogging this thing up and overheating. These fins, the impeller, made out of aluminum, and on the outside with the back uh, type motor, you have the plastic type fins. This, these things won't last forever, so avoid overheating. Back only dry, not wet, because as you, if you put moisture laden air through the system, the dust will be attracted to it and you don't want to load these impeller down with a lot more dust and debris. Then again, that'll cause overheating and wipe your motor out. There are several uh, sites on YouTube that shows you how to replace these motors and they uh, range 30, 40 bucks. I don't know, I'm got, I got lucky. If you plan to take the motor out, you can always mark it, it always helps. And there's a plastic piece on the end. Make sure you look at it for location when you put it back together again. Just before you replace the cover to the motor, make sure there's just about a quarter inch slack in your wire so they're not too taut. And then go ahead and replace the cover, replace all five screws, tighten it down, that's it. We're ready to go ahead and put the cyclone cover back on. Make sure your wireways are clear and uh, just go ahead and put it in the right direction. Put it down like this. Make sure it's fully seated. Align the tab. And don't forget to put your four screws back in. Now to put this thing back in, a little area right there, it slides. Just put that little tab in first there that we knocked out pushed out and then you'll you'll notice you have a gap here I gotta release the I'll, I'll try it without it snapped in place piece cake reinstalling your top half to your lower half make sure this shaft will go down like this angle it in Bring it forward, move the hose around and it drops right in. And go ahead and put your end caps back on. We'll put the screws in there already. And then just go ahead and screw those down. Lean it back a little bit. Then get your screwdriver in there and screw those four screws down. Now is a good time to go ahead and put your light headlamp back in, your cover, situated right, back up, and you can go ahead and put your locking lever back on, filter screen, and then reinstall your two screws, reinstall suction hose, make sure this little tab goes inside that recess there, line it up, and put your screw in, tighten it down, there you go. Go ahead and replace the wheel height adjuster. Picture of your new Bissell belts. They sell them on Amazon. Two for six ten that I got it for. Good price. Buy them. Reinstall your belt. Make sure it's around your motor shaft. 
install your brush, making sure that these align with this piece here. Go ahead and install your brush assembly. And your cover assembly here. And don't forget to put your screws back in. One, two, three, four, and five. Reinstall your cyclone assembly. There, right there. Put your filter back in. And the device that catches the dust. Lock it. Reinstall your handle assembly. Just slide it into place like so. Install your screw. Install your hose. I like to put this side down first. Put this in. And lock it in place. And you can go ahead and put your other attachments in. Now for initial test, let's run it. It is superb. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.